The Supramonte is a chain of mountains and limestone plateaus with an average height of 900 meters, stretching for 35,000 hectares between the municipalities of Baunei, Dorgali, Oliena, Orgosolo, and Urzulei. Over millions of years, geological events have shaped a harsh and rugged landscape. A land which man decided to challenge in the past, at first timidly with subsistence pastoral activity, then far more violently with the felling of thousands of acres of the forest which covered it, making it even more rough and inhospitable. However, it is right here in the Supramonte that nature has fought back and won her battle repopulating the area with rare plants and animals and making it one of the wildest natural environments in Europe. The three trails set up by the Sardinian Forestry Agency all start from the surroundings of the village of Urzulei and can be reached from the State Road 125 linking Cagliari to Olbia. These routes reveal the many aspects of this territory, its history, its people and above all its environment. territory with a variety of spectacular landforms, including caves, sinkholes, crevices and great canyons, such as Sugurropu, the deepest in Europe, accessible from Trail 502. This trail develops for the greater part along an unsurfaced road, plunging at times into wooded areas and then emerging to embrace fine panoramic views. A brief deviation from the trail brings us to the charming pond of Pischina Urtadala, one of the wells fed by the Codula Orbisi. Following the steep descent towards the confluence of Sagiuntura, we find the seasonal waterfall of Sugunna Zebba, fed by the underground waters of the Donini Cave. Sagiuntura, the confluence between the Fluminedo stream and Codulo Orbisi, is a good example of how nature can model the landscape. Tectonic movements and water erosion on the limestone rocks have over the centuries created a landscape which is a cross between alien and fantastic. demanding but equally interesting trail is 501. It crosses the Great Upland Plateau above Urzulei in the direction of Monte Novo San Giovanni. Along this trail we come upon Seni di Monte Pertunto, an imposing monumental U, which has been listed by the Sardinian Forestry Agency for its naturalistic importance. Facing it is the home oak wood of Fennau. The forest has been spared from the scourge of indiscriminate tree felling and its century-old trees loom in all their majesty over the naked limestone and the surrounding territory. A short detour in the direction of Codula Samela leads us to the entrance of the great cave del Ledera, still in part an export and the haunt of potholders from all over the island.
The trails of the Supramonte of Ogliastra also remind us of the remote past and of the ancient inhabitants of this land, as is the case with the fascinating archaeological site of Sarena, the arrival point of Trail 501. Here, the giant's tombs dominate the landscape and look out over the majestic tower of Monte Novo San Giovanni in the territory of Orgosolo. Another important archaeological site is the village of Ormurales, near the Saportiscra Wildlife Sanctuary. This ancient village consists of more than 50 round stone huts, built in limestone and dating back to the Bronze Age. In this area, the Sardinian Forestry Agency has also restored several shepherd's huts. The coiles, which on request, are available for early night stays. In the wildlife sanctuary, visitors can admire in the repopulation enclosure a number of Sardinian deer. Saportiscra is the starting point for the Trail 181, which is quite demanding because of its elevation gain and length, 22 kilometers, but is also one of the trails best loved by hikers because it leads to a world-famous beach, Cala Luna, and for the beauty of Codura di Luna, the great canyon through which the trail runs for a long stretch. The water, which along the first part of the trail runs on the surface, creating charming pools and small seasonal waterfalls, then runs underground, swallowed up by the limestone rocks, creating caves and great underground basins, and leaving the codula dry and apparently arid. When the trail reaches Cala Luna, the sight of the spectacular beach with its gleaming sand and crystal clear waters certainly repays hikers for their long demanding walk. The trails of the Genargento, managed by the Sardinian Forestry Agency, are all clearly signposted and have panels with information on the characteristics of each trail, duration of walk and route markings. The map of the trail network, together with other information, is available on the Sardinian Forestry Agency's website and from its local offices. Mm -hmm.